a beauty part. So you're, th you're an entrepreneur. Do you have any kids? I do. I have four kids. You got four kids. My oldest is 18. I have a 14 year old, a 10 year old, and my son will be nine tomorrow. Uh, allow uh, uh, me to say, hell no. Ready? Yes. You look good. That's why I want to try to work with it. So, Thank Andy you. Miami, 35, serial entrepreneur, four kids. He said 18, 14, 10, and 9. Yes. God How many damn. Um, one. One man. Have you ever been married? Yes, I was married for 17 years. Oh, when did you get divorced? See, that was good. I'm going to give her props. You get props, baby girl. You was married. You gave them kids a father, not a daddy. So kudos to you for doing that. But now you're back out here in the game. And in the game, you a throwaway. You were for 17 years. How long was you when you got married? Well... I'll be, I'll be 36, so it'll be 17. I was with him for 17 years. I apologize. I was with him for 17 years. We were legally married for 10. Uh, okay, got you, got you, got you. Uh, so you, you, how long have you been divorced? Uh, for a year, a year now. A year and a half. year and a half. Yes. All right, and what is your you should heal. zodiac sign? <laughs> I'm sorry, say again? What's your zodiac sign? Uh, Nobody um, cares. I don't believe in Zodiacs because I am a woman of God, but my birthday is October 21st, 1987. Okay, fair. Two more points for you, lady. Two more. You don't believe in Zodiac. You believe in God. See, that, that, that right there means that you got some level of accountability with your bullshit. You ain't just 100% bullshit. You got some accountability in there because people who use a Zodiac to excuse bad behavior, yeah, they don't, they don't, you know, they don't prosper. They don't live longer and prosper. But this type of attitude that you're dealing with, lady, hey, so far so good. I could tell you was married. You saying, you saying some pretty good stuff. The package is terrible, you know, I mean, as far as financially, but you seem pretty cool to me. Yeah, fair enough. Kenzie Miami, 35, um, serial entrepreneur, four kids, um, doesn't believe in Zodiac. We will, we will respect that. What kind of man are you looking for? Um, I'm definitely looking for one that is self-motivated and ambitious. Uh, no I definitely God. want one that actually like knows what they're working towards every day. I get up every morning, 5 a.m. workout. Um, Nobody wants to hear your shit, lady. You got four kids. Your life is consumed. Okay, you got a whole damn basketball team. You got a whole mess. So you don't get to dictate what this man do when he can't dictate what you do. Can he tell you what to do? You like, hell no, nigga, I got all these kids. He can't be like, yeah, you got to get up and do this and do X, Y, Z. So get off the shit. You don't get to call the shots no more. You need to be like, I'm looking for a father for my kids. But nah, not you. Um, I have these multiple businesses and one thing I cannot stand is for a man to be in bed all day doing nothing. Be in um, bed. <laughs> it, it just it does something for me. I just want a man that's goal oriented. God, just say you a want a rich man. Okay. Yes. What's some deal breakers? Gambling. Gambling is a deal breaker for me. Um Gambling. I guess. I mean if he got the money, it's his damn money, right? If you had your money and you wanted to go to the casino, he couldn't stop you and tell you don't go gamble. But, you know, that could be just me. Mm. Gambling is a deal breaker. And I, I love a romantic guy. Um, so I'm not really big on, on men that are just like, don't step out of their comfort zone, step out of their box. And okay. one that's um, abusive. The verbal abusive thing is a no-go for me. Verbal abusive. Okay, we got that. I mean, you just naming shit that you, you can't tell until you get to know somebody. You know what I mean? You got like some verbal abuser is going to be watching this and be like, oh, well, I better not reach out to her because, you know, I do like to verbally beat my women. <laughs> People don't. People don't show you their bad traits, you know, when they get to know you. Everything's good up front. Like right now, you present your best face. You got your best hair on. 
You know what I'm saying? You got your 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 makeup on. Everything is your, is your best. But let us see you without all that on. Let's see the real you. Does he have to look a certain way? Um, I like a man that's sort of well maintained, well groomed. I don't really have like a, oh a height thing. So as long as he's taller than me, I'm five four, five four. So as long as, long as he's taller than me, because I like to feel protected, and I think the height thing has something to do with that. Um. But um, a clean shaved guy. If he has dreads, you know, he keeps it neat, keeps a haircut, that type of thing. But I don't really have like a, a. You notice how women get to just totally pick all the attributes they want in a man. Can a man say she must not wear weave? You could be like, yeah, he got to be clean cut, he got to be tall, he got to be this, he got to be that. You be you you say, oh, uh. She must, she must not wear weave. She must not wear makeup. It's like you destroyed the world. It's height. A physical appearance. Height. Okay. Let's do the kids or cam because we're going to go. Okay. See the Kendra cam. Four kids. Hello. Baby, hold this for me. Let's see. Oof. Oof. Got a body, that's butter in the round, girl. That ass, though. She got an ass, though. <laughs> she got a body, body. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so, Kenzie. Workout. When was, was your marriage the last relationship? What'd you say? I definitely work out faithfully every morning, 5.30 a.m. Hell yeah, you do. 5.30 a.m. Okay, Kenzie. Oh, we're going to go, but why would a guy be lucky to be I still got them goddamn kids, though. Um, I'm motivational. I am uh, a risk taker. I'm spontaneous. I'm very laid back, so I can... How are you a motivated, m motivational speaker and you're not a success? How Who gets motivation from regular people? Somebody explain that to me. She like, yeah, I'm a motivational speaker. I'm like, what the fuck have you done? To be motivational, are you rich? Are you, you know, what what exactly in your life is motivation to somebody else? Run that, run that down for me. The best friend, I can be the home girl, but I also know how to play my role respectfully. Um, granted, I'm, I'm a leader, I'm an ambitious, I'm an alpha female, but I'm also I know how to be submissive. There's no such thing as an alpha female. There's only one leader in the house, okay? You can't be like, I'm the kid alpha. It's like, nigga, no, it's one big dog, okay? Daddy get the big piece of chicken, I eat first. It's only one number one in the family, and that's the kid. Yeah. I, uh, I'm respectful, um... And um, I can be the friend when he needs me, but I also can be the housewife who cooks, who cleans, who takes care of the kids, all that good stuff. I definitely know how to be balanced. I know how to balance. I know how to sacrifice. You got four goddamn kids. You act like that's a plus to him. I know how to take care of the kids and be the housewife. Duh. Duh, you have to be. That ain't no plus to him that you know how to take care of your own goddamn kids. I know how to communicate. Um, and most importantly for me, I'm realistic. I don't expect everything to be perfect. I know we're going to argue all that good stuff. Um, but I definitely want someone that can um, also be realistic. Okay. And um, does he have to be in Miami? He does not. What's your age range? Uh, um, between... 32 and 50. Okay, does he have to make a certain amount of money? Yes. yes. So I am a, a, I make, I'm pretty, pretty, pretty well. Here we go. Anytime you ask somebody about money and they start beatboxing, I ain't need Oh, wait a minute. I'm in the city where po, 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 po. I'm in the city where you got to get it. I'm in the city where you got to have it. I live where you got to have bread. Now, wait a minute. You heard what I said. I make money, so he has to make money. 
Well, you got four kids, and you ain't finna get him no money. So what his money got to do with the relationship? What, what your money got to do with his value in the relationship? So it's like, well, I, I make a certain amount of money, so I can ask for that. Well, do men do that? Do men say, all right, well, shit, I make 100000 and she don't make 100000 she work at Burger King? Nah, I don't fuck with her. She don't make 100000 Nope. Nope. We screw. Break the bucket in the bottom of the barrel all the time for chicks because your worth is not your financial status. Your worth is in your beauty and your youth and your fertility and things of that nature. So I want someone that is able to either meet me halfway or be able to enjoy the finer things in life with me. Is there a minimum number? Uh, at least a quarter million. So he has to a quarter of a million dollars for a woman with four kids who's 35. Are you crazy? Are you out? Are you out of your damn mind? Here, let me let me get real close and just speak like this so you can hear me. Others uh, absolutely no way in hell that you're gonna get all of that goddamn money uh if a man makes $250,000 a year. He doesn't want to come home to four uh, badass kids from another man. That's just how that works. He sound absolutely, uh, absolutely ridiculous. Uh, no wonder you're on this show because you're ridiculous and this whole show is ridiculous. Make at least 250000 Yes. Okay. That was your <coughs> cousin, me? Um, no, he was, my ex-husband did make six figures, but he wasn't at a quarter million. So the man you married and had four kids with did not make $250,000. Now here you are, older with four kids in tow, and you want to demand more than what your husband made, and you want to demand the next man make more than that. Now what kind of sense does that make? What kind of sense is it? You act like your value has went up since you got the divorce and the four kids. Your value ain't going up. So your your baby daddy didn't have to do it. Well, I got to do it. Man, that's crazy. Okay. But moving forward, the man has to make at least 250K. Yes. Can he have kids? Yes. yes. Absolutely. Do you want more, more kids? One more time. Do you want, do you want more kids? Um, no, no, I don't want any more kids. I will welcome. So, let's do the, let's do the science. Let's do the math. He got to have $250,000 a year. He got to be ambitious, goal-oriented. He got to be, this is a damn near 1% man. No, this is a 1% man. I bet you want to be black too. Okay, so 0.00001% man, right? $250,000 a year. He don't get no kids, but he get to come and spend his $250,000 a year on you and your four kids. Is that is that an even deal? Anybody feel like that's an even shake? Like they would say, yeah, that sounds fair. A woman wouldn't even take that shit. You couldn't get a woman that got $250,000 and then I'll be like, yeah, I got four kids and they all stay with me. And yeah, uh, I need you to come and, and bring your $250,000 over here and let me, you know, spend on, on my kids that I have. This. And that chick could be looking like, nigga, please. His, but uh, no more kids for me, no. So he has to make two hundred fifty k and you're not going to have a baby bride? Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, no. That's do stupid. you expect him to provide for your children? I'm, do I expect a? Do you expect him to provide for your children too? Um, he come. I mean, they come with me. So providing for me is providing for them. Really. Look how she look. But my kids okay. are good. Girl, they, they say they're they good, say you make a half a million dollars. Kitty, now I'm gonna tell you what they said. They say you make a million dollars. You said, do I make a half a million dollars? Well, no, you, 
You make you make a quarter million, right? No, 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 no. I need him to make at least a quarter million. I make I make more than a quarter million. Oh, you make more more than a quarter million. Okay. Yeah. So he has to make at least. So they want to know why your Wi-Fi not Wi-Fi in. Um, actually, I am at cheer competition with my daughter in Orlando, so we're in a hotel. Terrible. Tear robo deal. Tear robo deal. Nah. No. You know what? Ain't nothing like trying to live up to somebody else's expectations about what you supposed to be. That shit is exhausting. That's exhausting, man. You know, you got to be everything. You got to be the whole goddamn package. And then you got to come and fit into her life. You got to come join her world. Fuck your whole world. And what you got going on with your 250000 We want you to stop doing all your Playboy shit. And slow down for a chick who ain't finna give you no kids. Who's 35 with four kids. She got money. She a boss chick. That ain't what you want to come home to. I want to run the show. Not you. And I do run the show. Not you. And if it can't be like that, you got to run the show. You. That's why you at where you at right now. Because you got money. You feel like your husband wasn't good enough. You had already made your decision. You had already picked your man. You should have stayed with it. And you need to go back to him. Because everybody else, man, look. If you got that bread and you not sharing it, you might as well have zero. Bitch, you, got, you make zero a year. Okay, because you only spending it on you and your goddamn kids. If you not, if I can't partake and I ain't getting down, shit, I got to come with the money. So I got to come with my own money. You're not going to share yours. And we got to take care of the kids. Man, fuck all that. Uh, for okay. cheer competition. Nah, that is a top, top gun cheerleader. We're in um, Orlando for her national championships. Okay. So you, okay, so real quick, I know you got to go. We got to go because Wi-Fi is not on our side. But I want to pick your brain about something. So normally I hear 100K. So 100K wouldn't be good enough for you. Uh, uh, no. no. <laughs> this winter, the only thing Who better than making plans is. is sleeping through them. Shop mattress firms. No. No. Absolutely not. Okay. Okay. Absolutely not. Yeah. Who the fuck does she think she is? <laughs> Who? You got some unmitigated balls. You got balls, lady. I mean, you want love? This don't sound like love. This sound like you looking for a business partner. This sound like a business transaction. And it sound like you the boss. Sound like whatever, whoever the man is, you better be some type of beta because she done already told you she the alpha. So you better come in, be ready to be cheer dad. Give her all your money. You know, they're a package. They come together. So if you're going to provide for her, you got to provide for her kids too. Well, what the fuck you doing with your money? So you, man, so you're going to keep all your money. You're going to keep your money and then you're going to, Sit there and spend all mine, my 250 on you and your kids, and then I don't get no kids. What kind of... Pfft, girl, you never getting a man. 200, 200, now, could he be any race? We gotta be black. Um, yeah, I'm not against the race thing. I, I have dated outside of my race. I've dated mostly um, black men and Caribbean men. Um, but I'm not against race. I'm, I'm just all for love. Okay. She's all for love. Let's do it. Kids, you want to get married again? Kenny, do you want to get married again? I, I do. She thinks okay. she looks so What's your fucking Facebook good. Page? <laughs> um, Candy Green. She thinks. Take that other woman's hair off your head. Since you the boss. Let me see your real confidence. Let me see what I'm really working with here. You all glammed up. You all dolled up. At a cheer competition. You trying to catch, but you got problems. 
you got problems. You got you got way bigger problems. And being on this show ain't going it ain't gonna fix it. It ain't gonna fix it. This show's not gonna fix what your problem is because your problem is is that you're up, man. You're way up. And you're looking for a man who's way upper. And unfortunately, it ain't a lot of men that's way upper that want to come into this type of situation. That's all I got to say about that. Yo, I'm going to go out and get me some, I don't know, man, probably some Mexican food. You know what I mean? Two tacos, chimichanga, and a margarita. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate y'all coming to holler at your boy. It's been the rich, rich, filthy. Holla at your boy. I'm out this thing, man. Peace.